Hey everyone, it's me. This is my second video on this channel. I've actually uploaded a couple more, but I deleted them because they sucked. Anyways, I'm gonna be talking about my uh, two things, maybe three. First is my sec top secret hidden training technique for ultimate hypertrophy in massive uh, super physiological gains. And the second thing I'm gonna be talking about is Twitter. Okay, and this is gonna seem like there's two sections of the video, but there's actually one interconnected, as you'll see. So, my top secret gain for hypertrophy is a deadly combination of chemical and also uh, uh, rest, um, comb it's a rest and chemical combination. Um, so, okay, so, um, my, the, the chemical is of course pre-workout which is not secret however it has deadly combination effects with uh, going on twitter mid sets okay so i want to talk about that real quick because this is actually so fucking uh based um so if you go onto a twitter during your sets of uh during your workouts um especially if you follow the right sorts of people maybe make a separate account and just follow people you don't like um, particularly political figures and particularly accounts that you don't know if they're satire or not because it's so stupid. Um, so, okay. Uh, for example, uh, I'm going to talk about something I did today. So what I did today was I went on, so I was, okay. So the, the, the gym was so packed today. Um, all my friends ditched on me. I was alone. It was a pull day. All my friends, uh, I was left alone. Okay. And the gym was so crowded, none of the machines were open and almost no uh, uh, benches were open. So I was basically screwed. What I did was I did bicep curls. Thank God uh, the uh, bicep curl thing was open. And then the second, and then I uh, tried to row, but there's no rows. And I tried to do lap pull downs and there's no lap pull downs. So then I just started doing pull up push stuff because I was really bored and I didn't want to look like I'm an idiot. So. I just started doing shoulder presses, uh, etc. And I was already getting kind of mad because I was already uh, get tweaking off the pre-workout. Um, and I, I generally hate myself and how I look. So the gym is my only vector in which I can necessarily resolve that. Um, so what happens is when I go to the gym, this is a very sacred time for me. When people mess around, etc., I get really mad. However, this anger can be channeled into positive means, i.e. lifting heavier objects for more times. So what ends up happening is I'm already mad. Let's say I'm at a 60% base mad level because I'm doing exercises I don't want to do. Um, I have leg day tomorrow, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, uh, life is really boring, et cetera. So all these things culminate into me just being kind of mad. So I decide that I should go on Twitter because that will sort of cool me down. Just kidding. I love the anger. I love the chaos that it produces. The reason for this is that in the gym, you want to be uh, angry and people will be like, uh, well, you don't want to be angry in the gym because it's short term. It doesn't, it's not sustainable. Wrong. You can be angry all the time and therefore it is sustainable. You just have to find new things to get mad at. So what I ended up, what I ended up doing was I went on Twitter and I went, I went on this thread and apparently a uh, YouTuber video game donkey made a YouTube video about the new Sonic game. And he said he didn't like it. And at the end of the video, he, he said that he went on Metacritic or some, something like this. And he said, I did not like the game. And I'm surprised that there are all these reviews say it, it was good. Um, and then people like went to the Metacritic thing. There's like 20 reviews or something. Who cares? It can be a thousand. It doesn't really matter to me. And they're like, oh, this game sucks. I watched the video. This game's bad. Okay. And people on Twitter were getting mad at him for this. And I just, and I don't really care, okay? I don't really care about Sonic uh, Adventures or whatever the game's called, nor do I care about video ga game donkey anymore, nor do I really care about uh, review bombing video games, okay? I, I, just, I just couldn't uh, care less about this. Um, however, people on Twitter were getting very mad and you know, all these people with like lion profile pictures, not like cool lions, like IRL lions, more like cartoon lions, uh, furry lions, etc. were getting mad. So it was just like really, I, I was getting kind of pissed off to be honest because it was so stupid and uh, nebulous. And it's like, why are you complaining about this? Um, this sort of trivial thing. And I, I, I know what some people, some intellectual, some maybe academic people are like, um, you don't care. Um, two arguments. One, you're talking about it, so clearly you, 
you you care and then the second thing is like you don't care is not a substantive argument so answer one then two first obviously i care insofar as i'm angry and that's funny and good and i like talking about it but the very idea of them talking about this is so nebulous which is fueling my anger two i know that it's not an argument this video is not an argument dummy okay so now that i'm now that we've clarified those two points i just want to talk about how that that, that social clarification that that clarification was needed um and it was really dumb and i'm not going to make really any substantive arguments here outside of um sonic was made by a, 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 a big old company so if you were to be like i'm gonna re make a bad review of this game i don't think anyone really cares and people will probably form their opinions on whether they want to buy the game or not not based off of 20 obviously bit fake and frivolous reviews but instead off of other videos etc etc if they like sonic etc 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 so that was interesting um and so since that's my secret hypertrophy technique i guess i'll add my twitter take um it's uh kind of psychoanalytical um which is strange because i've kind of uh I've not like disavowed psychoanalysis, but I've certainly gotten less interested in it and I've done, so I've been doing more personal stuff, um, but it is psychoanalytical. Um, so it, therefore it's novel and you should listen to me. Um, so I think that Twitter is like the most obvious domain of the symbolic order. I think that's all language and almost no meaning um, whatsoever. There's no real substance. Every word sort of um, it, it's, a, it's a linguistic plane upon which we impose ourselves, but it's not really meaningful. Um, people just say stuff and it makes no sense and no one actually cares about anything at all. Um, and obviously like people could be doing much more important things with their time, but they're not. And they like complaining about things. That's good and fun. Um, and, uh, and I guess Twitter is fun for, uh, good in that reason. I'm not saying Twitter in its essence is bad. I'm just saying that when people tie any social political significance to Twitter, that's bad. And you're going to be like, well, there is social political significance to Twitter. And I'm going to say, yes, obviously that is true, but there's two distinctions. One is that obviously political leaders and except, uh, people like this say that say things on Twitter and they get riled up, i.e. Donald Trump, uh, et cetera. Uh, but no, but that's not what I'm talking about. The second thing is that uh, I think that any tie to like a public forum of discussion um, with, with the ability of robo turfing and just random people saying random nonsense should not be political and we should sort of um, not tie our political beliefs to anything we, we see on Twitter. Um, obviously, this is probably a cold ass take and people are getting bored. Um, but I, I just think it's really uh, weird and strange that people care so much. And it's just like, it, it's like the Elon Musk and the other people are two sides of the same stupid coins. Like Elon Musk buys this, this, this platform and wants to make it like po a political space. And then like other people are like, you're so incompetent and bad. It's like, no, both of you apply some strange meaning to this website that makes no sense whatsoever. Twitter is funny because meme and it's also funny because porn and that's basically it. Um, so yeah, um... It just feels strange, honestly. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I go on this app, people are posting shit, it makes no sense. Um, and I think it's generally useful for like information, uh, perhaps, but you always have to fact check that because you know, there's obviously a bunch of fake infographics going around, a bunch of, a bunch of different social situations. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's the video. If you like this video, please like to deliver the.